I'm going to enter uh, the visual editor. You can actually go to your, you know, whatever page you're on in your blog or your website, and you know, literally, you can pick from a bunch of pages that you want to that you want to go to, or system pages. So, for example, blog index, single post, category archives, and so forth. All right. I start with the page right here. I've what this is, this is a single page within WordPress that I, you know, created. It's on my blog, all right, but I want to add stuff to it, all right. Uh, two things I want to add to it, I want to add a footer, okay. So the footer that I have is actually a series of widgets that I have. It's called wid Widgetized Footer. Uh, so at the bottom of my blog, if you look, you'll see it says, Who's John? Connect, Resources, Live Appearances. Typically, these sidebars go vertically, uh, but headway, there's a little checkbox, you check it off, and it makes these widget groupings horizontal. And if you notice here, I actually have several groupings of widgets here. Headway allows you to add a grouping, okay? So I have a, a whole group of widgets that I can add for my about page that I don't want. For example, content that I want on my about page, like speaking engagements, that stuff I don't want throughout the whole blog. And then I have a primary sidebar, which, which I want pretty much throughout the whole site on all the blog posts. So you can add as many different groupings of widgets that you want. I'm going to first add this right here. And all you have to do is go to Leafs. Leafs is another word for basically a block of content. All right. So I'm going to add a widget-ready sidebar. You notice that it pops in right here. Okay. The number of the sidebar, this happens to be 80, I want to copy the content from my footer that I have throughout my whole blog. All I will do is basically put in the uh, ID number for that, all right? And then where it says look and feel, I'm going to click flip this sidebar horizontally, and that is it. I'm going to click on save. Okay. So now if we scroll down to the bottom, we see this messy looking thing right here, right? Next thing we need to do is we need to resize it. Okay, so I'm going to enable resizing. Resizing is very straightforward. You can do it in one of two ways. You can enter an exact width or height, or you could simply just drag stuff, okay? I'm just going to drag this over. And the last thing I want to do is I want to have a fluid height on this. Fluid height means that Basically, the height is dictated by whatever's in the, the content box, all right? So see how it's getting cut off right now? If I say fluid height, it will make it look like the, my footer's supposed to look like on other pages of my blog, okay? So literally took two seconds. I just basically told Headway that, hey, I want to copy over this exact same footer, this exact same content from the other parts of my blog the other thing I want to do is I want to add a sidebar on the right-hand side of, you know, related blog posts to social media optimization. So all you have to do is, again, go under the leaf section. There is another type of leaf called content. So whenever you add a leaf, it kind of just adds it to the bottom of the site. You have to go look for it, all right? <clears throat> but what this does is this will pull in content from your site, all right? Now, what content do we want to add? This particular feature gives you the ability to add a page or posts. Now, what you can do is you can include posts within specific categories, and you can cherry pick whatever categories you want, or you can exclude. Okay, so I'm going to include all my posts that have to do with social media optimization. You can limit by author. Post limit, you can say one, I'm going to say four, all right? Uh, I'm not going to have a featured post in there. I'm just going to have excerpts and then order by date or title or random. I'm just going to order it by date, descending, miscellaneous. I don't want to show the leaf title, which would basically be like, you know, content. I don't want to have that displayed. And I can put in a custom CSS class if I want to, but headway, you don't really need to use CSS. So, uh, so we have that. I'm going to click on save. Now, if you notice, it's not exactly where I want it to be. It's like down here. It looks kind of funny. So now we need to move it, all right? Under Leafs, 
you can resize and arrange. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to resize first because I need to make room for that leaf over here. All right. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to move this right here. Okay. <clears throat> and if you notice, it just kind of pops up here. I'm going to <clears throat> make it a fluid height. All right. Uh, still looks a little funny. Probably what I need to do is I need to um, give it a little bit more room here. All right. Okay. So I have this kind of where I want it. Um, just has you know four different articles here. Okay. So the final thing I'm going to do is I will switch to another page that I want to edit. All right. So I'm going to go to the single post level. Anything that I do now will make a change to every single page within my blog, all 280 something pages. All right. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I will add a leaf. All right. I'm going to actually add a content block right here. Okay. It's going to show up right here. All right. And don't laugh at me. I'm not a graphic designer. So let's see. I'm going to use uh, text HTML PHP. All right. Again, it's going to add it right at the bottom. Uh, and we will click on edit. Okay. I have the HTML code right here with the image. Um, I have that. I'm going to click on it. I will click on save. I will save as much as I possibly can because you never know. Okay. And then the final thing we need to do is resize it because it kind of gets cut off right here. I just take this and I just simply drag it right over here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to end it right about here. All right. Just going to put it right in the middle of the site. And I will click on save. And then we'll go, I'll close the editor and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. And then you just say close visual editor. You close it. it gives you a little warning. Okay, and again, I put this on a single post, okay? So if someone goes to johnhayden.com, click on the header, goes to the home page, that's going to disappear, okay? They don't see anything at all unless they go down to, say, a blog post, okay? Click on a blog post. As soon as they go to that page, they're going to see this little promotion, okay? Oh, wow, what's the 31-day challenge? They click on that, and then they go to the page that we just built, okay? Uh, there's content over here. I'm not sure if I like that or not, but I can change that. We have this, you know, what, what's the 31 day challenge about? And we have an email form and that footer that I put in there. Okay. So pretty straightforward to just basically add a page, design it how you like it without a lot of need, without a lot of, uh, you know, coding involved. And that is it. I just figured I'd show people while I was, uh, while I was doing it. I got something, whoa.